First of all, what 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 what, are you, what type of setup are you using? Well, uh, my setup it, it looks different at different times, but um, when I'm DJing, I, I use Serato, okay. uh, and I have a, a DDJ SX3. Okay. Um, and I set up my clip so I can trigger it, and then I have things where I like to do live like modulation and stuff. Yeah. Uh, when I'm producing music, I I use an Ableton push. I also have um, the Arturia Mini Lab, and I also use a uh, Elisa's like 49 key keyboard more often now. Okay. I like to play keys more. I like to feel the music. Beforehand, I was using a lot, uh, doing a lot of sampling, and also doing arrangement where I was playing. But now I'm, I'm, I'm taking more of like a FKJ approach. FKJ, oh my god, yo. Yeah, man. I'm, I'm not mad at that. Yes. Yeah, not uh, one bit, yo. I like to feel the music. I also like to, I like the inflections that I can put on the music, the accents. I like it to feel like you're actually being spoken to by the notes. Yeah. And. Um, that's the direction I started going into, but I'm an Ableton user, and um, yeah, that's just my workflow. I'm it's very simple, it. nice. man. Yeah. So yeah. how'd you get started in all this? I started producing music uh, when I was in high school, Fruity Loops 3, shout out to that. Shouts out to Fruity Loops. Man. Hell yeah. Uh, and uh, that, was, that was where the start was. I was in a rap group at the time, and it was funny, because I was like really into it. I was producing and I thought I was Pharrell. I also <laughs> was rapping. And, uh, but I always was in the music even since a little kid. Right. Like I, I've been playing piano. And through, it's just in Japanese, they call it, you know, your ikigai, which is, you know, your life's purpose and what makes you happy and that's something i could do daily without delay i love it yo and with further fostering of my my gifts i realized that i had a, a higher power to not do it for myself but just bring peace and love and uh the concept of like togetherness through my sound yo you yo that's one thing like one thing i i have to say about you um i feel like every time we meet it's always like a ton of like positive energy like a ton of like you're like always. you seem like an extremely thoughtful guy like always yo, like, is that just like genuine yeah yeah like, yeah, yeah. It's, first it's, time i met you at controller i was you you was speaking to me like you know me for years like yo <laughs> how's everything going like what's going on with you like it's genuine so i appreciate that guys do you feel like um like so 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 i feel i feel like you're you're a pretty you're you're a pretty zen guy like is that like find its way into like your creativity like do you like how, like tell me about your process how do you how do you sit down and come to the table to create well my process is all about really just treating everything like a practice um beforehand i would treat everything like an outcome so i would try to approach music like i needed to make a song versus right. just showing up to play ball shooting around right. and the more that you shoot the more you realize the nuances of how you're shooting right right and it becomes less about the buckets that you make and more about how you were shooting it and what was on your mind when you were doing it and then why you were doing it a certain way and it just became more of a, a deeper process about like growth and just observance and i've been through a lot like anybody except there was a certain point when i stopped believing that i was punished for the things i was going through versus making room for the gains by eliminating the losses you know and uh the zen part is just a part of acceptance like there's a lot that we resist and there's there's more we gain from stopping resisting gems man yeah gems so and that's jewels. that's how i approach music bro i show up every day i feel everything and if it's not the time to make a song, it was the good time just to practice. Yeah, yeah. and that, that was I it. like that. Yeah, yeah. I call it I call it a beat attempting, right? Like I don't even, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like so, like for me, it's important to it's important to like shoot 15 shots throughout the week, right? Mm -hmm. None of them have to go into the basket. They don't. That's not the purpose. Like the purpose is just like I, I, like I said, beat attempt. Like yeah. I, I literally. You know, I try to write out what I want to do for every day. And every day is meditate, write, beat attempt, right? Mm. Like, that's like the first, they're, they're like the first three things to me. Like, stretch, meditate, write, beat attempt, right? That's, that's good. Doesn't mean that I'm going to make anything close to being like fire. 
right? It's just like you have to try for the day, right? And if like it usually, I, I think I think that like with a certain amount of attempts, you end up somewhere, right? Like it takes you somewhere. Oh, um, you always go somewhere. Yeah, it takes you somewhere. Just don't don't approach it like a map. Like no, it should just like a compass. I, you know, I, I'm so, I'm so glad that you said that you're not like particularly like attached to the outcome. Like that's I think that that's really important. Mm -hmm. Like having fun. Like I think that a lot of people forget that like this is supposed to be fun. Mm -hmm. When you take the fun out of it and it becomes like strictly a job, I think you miss out on so much of right. like what you could accomplish. Beats, brews, and life. life.